Clothes have always held such a fascination for me. I think I was about seven years old when I saw breakfast at Tiffany's, and Audrey Hepburn was so stylish and so amazing. Style and fashion is like carving your initials on a tree. I was here. You signal to the world, this is who I am. Take it or leave it. This is my style, and I'm sticking to it. Never thought that I would see it tonight with lock eyes and you smile. Every single memory comes back to life. Your lips press against mine after a night out. We got drunk and ended up at your place. From the moment that I saw you, I knew that it was the bet that you felt the same. so much for coming back and seeing me and Desi. I hope you had a great week. I, I had a pretty exciting week and I owe you a life update so I'm going to do that very very soon. I have so many things to tell you. But today I'm doing something a little bit different. I am doing a video on uh, fashion and style over 50, over 60 and beyond. And, you know, you all know how much I love clothes. And, I, you know, I, I'm no fashionista. Um, I, I don't obsess on designers, but I do love clothes. And over the years, you have asked me so many questions about being a mature woman and buying clothes. And what I did is I took all your questions, I turned them into a cool tag. And in the middle of the tag, I model for you my very favorite skirts and dresses and tops out of my closet and then I tell you why they're my favorites. So it kind of gives you, you know, sort of an idea of, of how I view things because every woman has her own specific ideas and feelings about dressing herself. And I think an open dialogue uh, between us, you know, exchanging ideas of what we think, you know, really works. Uh, when we are a little bit more mature. I think that's cool. So uh, I can't wait to do this and I'm so happy you're here. So let's talk fashion, okay? All right. All right, we're going to start out with talking about style and our history with clothes. And I guess without a doubt, my, my style is boho. Uh, I am a child of the 60s and the 70s. It's always Woodstock in my head. Uh, I love art, I love colors, I love flow, so I always will lean towards very romantic, uh, colorful clothes. And as far as my history with clothes, I, I fell in love with clothes as a little girl. Uh, my church dresses and my patent leather shoes and also, uh, my mom, you know, she, it was just me and my mom after my grandpa died, and we didn't have a lot of money, but my mom always made sure that she spent hundreds of dollars on school clothes for me. She didn't want me to go to school and have the other girls make fun of me. That's what happened to her when she was in high school. It was during the Depression, and her mom would go to, like, a thrift store and, and come home and just throw the clothes on the bed. and. And my mom would just cry and cry because those were her school clothes, dirty used clothes. So my mom made sure that that was never going to happen to me. So, so she, um, she saved up all year. So when I would pick out my school clothes starting from, you know, right around 12 years old and on, you know, into high school, I took every piece of clothing that I bought seriously because I knew how hard my mom worked for that money. She worked two jobs. So I had to make sure, oh, I'm going to tear up. I had to make sure that the clothes that I chose were something that I loved and something that, you know, she would like too. And mom had really, really good taste. So yeah, that's my history with clothes. What are the three most important things you think about when you're buying clothes? And for me, that's pretty easy. Uh, when I see the garment hanging, I think, how is that cut? So I think when you get to be this age, you identify 
right off the bat, is that going to be a flattering cut around my neck, around my shoulders, my torso? The second thing is I try to find uh, the garment in a color that uh, looks good on me. I look pretty good in white and tans and uh, uh, beautiful blues and certain reds, but there are some colors that are just the kiss of death for me. Olives, uh, olive green and some browns. Ugh. <laughs> I think blue is such a good color on me and so burgundy for me it's kind of a hit or miss you know a lot depends on what's happening with my hair you know is it light is it dark but uh, boy red I love wearing red in the summer but I can't really say that red is my color the third thing I think about when I'm buying clothes is probably the most important and that is does that fabric speak to me? Is that the type of fabric I'm going to be comfortable in? And does the design of the fabric tell a story? Because yeah, you know, fashion is like, you know, carving your initials on a tree. I was here. so. When I go somewhere, I, I want to express myself verbally, but I also want to express myself in the clothes that I'm wearing. So, yeah. It's one yeah. of my favorite accessories. And I absolutely love earrings. They are my favorite thing to wear. They're my favorite. Maybe they're a staple, but to me, they're an accessory. I wear earrings most of the time and rarely wear necklaces. So I love earrings. They, you know, they pull the outfit together and they express the mood. Um, and I love scarves. Uh, scarves are so beautiful. If you do a scarf right, it can turn that garment that isn't your color into your color. And I love belts. I never met a belt I didn't love. I love that crisp, clean look of a belt. Especially, you know, if you have like a little blazer and, and then you have your outfit underneath and it's belted. It just makes you look crisp and thinner and I think it's nobody looks bad in a belt. <laughs> it's not possible. Okay, well maybe, but it, it's a stretch. You know, one of the reasons that I wanted to lose some weight was because this spring and summer I wanted to, you know, tuck my blouse into, you know, a cool pair of jeans with a cool belt. So that kind of kept me going. I will never get over my love for beautiful things and beautiful earrings. They make the day. I make sure when I go to a clothes department that I am specifically here for one reason. Something, there's a, a skirt or a dress or a pair of pants, and I want something to accentuate it, to make it look great. So I'm very focused when I go out shopping. I, I find that if I just go and shop for clothes, I get way too overwhelmed. Next up is what mature women inspire you when it comes to fashion? And I would have to say, probably I find two very inspirational. Annie Lennox in the, in the way that uh, she mixes masculine and feminine uh, uh, clothing and, and pulls together this most amazing outfit. <laughs> It's just amazing. She blows me away. Annie Lennox, I, I believe, is 64. And so she's the same age as I am. And the way that she uses textures and colors and hats, I, I just love it. What do I feel most beautiful in? And I, this is my favorite part of the tag because I get to show you what I feel most beautiful in. But I love clothes that tell a story. So I picked three skirts out of my wardrobe to show you that I love and you know I'm only 5'3 and I'm about a size 8 I'm 38 30 38 so I'm I'm not you know a big woman I'm not small either but you know I'm short I'm a little poet anyway <laughs> I, I wanted to show you some of these maxi skirts and maxi dresses on a short woman because I honestly believe they don't make me look shorter. They don't uh, chop me up. And, and, you know, and the dress just has to have a little edge to it. But when I walk into a room in a dress and it tells a story, then it just seems to, it just fills me with confidence. So. Right now, I want to show you my favorite outfits from my closet. Say something like you love me and make my day like you always 
for a mature woman and the way she dresses and I would say yes uh, there is a rule and that rule is there's no rules you have to express yourself and if you are choosing clothes that make you feel great that make you feel beautiful then to hell with what anybody else says or the world and you know Ladies will throw out suggestions. I'm throwing out a whole bunch of suggestions today, but in the end, nobody does you like you. Look at this skirt. Oh my gosh, I, how much is this skirt? This is $60. I got this same skirt at Goodwill three weeks ago. Oh my goodness. You know, I think one of the reasons that I love to model the, the thrift store clothes for you is just to kind of illustrate my philosophy that, you know, whether your dress is $3,000 or $30 or $3, you know, fashion and style is, is the woman inside the dress. It's, it's her, her beauty and her confidence. And there is nothing sexier in the whole world than a woman with a smile that has so much confidence. And she just exudes a, a kind of openness and a kindness. And, and you put all that together with a, a beautiful dress or skirt or a great pair of jeans and a t-shirt and a blazer. I mean, it is, it's beautiful because it's the woman who makes the clothes every single time. It's the woman who makes the clothes. You know, I hate to say this because I think a woman should dress any way she wants, but I do think after 60 we have to be a little bit careful with the leopard prints. <laughs> it kind of goes into that stereotype. Uh, do you remember the Sonny and Cher show? 
uh, where Cher played the older lady in the laundromat and she always wore a leopard. Yeah, kind of scares me. What is the best fashion advice I ever received? And I think it was always be very mindful of your posture. Stand up straight and your clothes will hang so much more beautifully. And the second thing is get yourself a really good bra. Get yourself a bra that is fitted to you and it just makes all the difference in the world how your clothes drape and it takes years off your figure if things are perky. <laughs> the last question of the tag is what is the best fashion advice I could give someone over 60? And you know I, I guess I would say you know you can see a lot of videos on YouTube uh, about uh, how to make uh, dressing and, and fashion and uh, looking our best over 60 easy you, you know just make it easy you know just switch up your blazers or just switch up your scarves and you know I don't I don't subscribe to that philosophy at all I don't think fashion was meant to be easy I think fashion was meant to be hard because it's so worthwhile when we get it right and getting it right is, I think, not looking at, well, I have to have five pairs of white pants and five pairs of black pants. No, I think that you have to look at each piece in your closet as an individual expression of yourself. And therefore, you know, when you go shopping, you'll have something in mind, like that beautiful skirt I just bought. I'm going to find the perfect top for that skirt. But it all kind of dovetails into this beautiful symphony that is fashion and style and, and you, regardless of your age, you are dressing to say to the world, I'm here and I matter and I'm beautiful. There we go. Hey everybody, thank you so much for hanging in there with us today. I loved every second of it. I hope you liked the fashion video. It was so much fun to do. <laughs> Have yourself a wonderful brand new week and when you're done with your week, come back and see me and Desi, okay? Alright, it's a deal. Are you looking at the camera? I think he looked at the camera. <laughs> I think true individual fashion has nothing to do with hiding your flaws. It's accentuating who you are, everything you have. There is nothing more sexy than a confident woman. <laughs> Just ask Helen Mirren. I haven't really wandered that far away from that young girl who watched Breakfast at Tiffany's and was so mesmerized by the hats and the fashion and Audrey Hepburn and her cat. <laughs> I don't care how old I get, when I'm in a store and I run across such a beautiful blouse, I swoon. <laughs> you know, you might be thinking, who, who am I to be giving you fashion advice? And I'm, I'm not trying to give you fashion advice. What I'm trying to do is just share with you my love of getting dressed every morning and feeling so pretty in my clothes. I'm thinking they'd be better in black. I don't care what other people think. This is the only life I have and I'm going to express it. is subjective. I think fashion is wherever you find it. I think fashion is you.